Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. I have uh, already completed a couple videos on this specific subject, but it's important to follow up because it is ever changing and constantly moving. And this is regarding the foreclosures on many veterans and what the VA is doing in order to prevent that from their own mess up, by the way. What it, the snapshot here is there was a COVID forbearance which allowed veterans who were having some financial difficulties through the midst of COVID to be able to elect to do a forbearance on their mortgage, essentially taking the months that they skip payments on and adding it to the end of the loan. It's not free money, it's just moving the money to a later date for payment, either when you sell your home or when you finally pay it off if you stay there for however many years your, your mortgage is, right? So it's just transferring it to the end. However, there is some rule in the VA's wheelhouse, I guess, in which the COVID forbearance authorization ended after they already approved homeowners to skip payments, but oh, now we can't add them to the end anymore. Oh, well, and moved on. Their first reaction to that was, oh, our bad. Uh, it's going to take us five or six months to uh, figure that out. In the meantime, good luck. That was their first response, obviously not taken well by the people. Then uh, Congress, uh, members of Congress on the, on the uh, House and Senate side chimed in and uh, got the VA to essentially work with the majority. I think that they got a hold of all the different lenders and uh, had them hold off on forecl uh, foreclosure proceedings until they could figure something out. So they're still trying to figure out what their workaround is, and I think they still got maybe three months left of their five month kind of time frame. In any case, I wanna jump into this article uh, and give you an update. So please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff, I really appreciate it. This might not specifically affect you, but it does give us some insight into how screwy things can be, obviously like we don't know, but how extra screwy things can be with the VA and by watching this and hitting the thumbs up, it really does help YouTube understand that this is important information and pushes it out to others. So that's the whole thing. Anyway, let's move on. All right, so thousands of vets fall victim to a bait and switch by the VA, question mark. Lawmakers want a fix. So moving on, lawmakers uh, summoned the head of the Department of Affairs loan program, John Bell to Capitol Hill this week and asked him to explain how the VA is going to fix a debacle that's left many vets in danger of losing their homes. His answer, they don't know yet. We are looking for a solution to be able to help 40,000 borrowers uh, basically stop the foreclosure process, Bell told them. The VA has been scrambling since an NPR investigation revealed that it pulled the plug on a key program while thousands of vets were still in the middle of it, effectively turning a well-meaning pandemic aid effort into a bait-and-switch trap for homeowners. Like, vets aren't already a little skeptical about the VA. I mean, none of us want to really, you know... <laughs> do too much because we're always fearful that they're going to screw something up at the end or at the at at issue is what's called the for the covid mortgage forbearance set up by congress after the pandemic hit to help people who lost income it gave homeowners uh it gave homeowners with federally backed loans a sanctioned way to keep mortgage payments the missed payments would get moved to the back of the loan term so when homeowners got back on their feet they could just resume their normal payments not an inflated payment just their normal payments and instead their loan term is extended by whatever six months 12 months 18 months whatever it is moving on but in October 2022, the VA ab abruptly ended a critical part of its forbearance program, stranding tens of thousands of vets who were told they now needed to come up with all of the missed payments at once. That's exciting. 
you know, if your mortgage payment, just to throw out an easy number, is $2,000 and you took uh, a year to figure it all out and now you're working again, things are good and you're thinking you're going to go back to your $2,000 a month payment and then to be told, guess what, no, that's not going to happen. You got to pay us $24,000 or we're going to foreclose on you is uh, pretty rough. So moving on uh, is a quotation. I'm like, how am I going to come up with almost $23,000? pretty close to the number I just used. How am I going to come up with that? Asked Edmund Garcia, a combat veteran who served in Iraq. Garcia's wife lost her job during the pandemic and when he called his loan servicer in late 2022, he was offered a forbearance. After three months, Garcia said he tried to start paying again, but was told the program had ended. Wow. On the cusp, the mortgage company said if he could afford to pay back all the missed payments in a lump sum, uh, then he could resume making his regular payments. So he fell further behind because you're just trying to pay catch up and you're always, in this case, three months short. I'm three months short from where I need to be. And you're just digging in a, in a sand pit. Then just weeks ago, he was notified that all the missed payments were now due. You got to pay it all now. Jeez, so frustrating. You know what I am supposed to do. Uh, you know what I am supposed to do, Garcia said. The paperwork from his lender said he could sell his home in a short sale as an option. I'm going to lose my home, jack up your credit, I'm adding that, and not be able to buy another house for a while. That's exciting. While interest rates are rising and house prices are crazy. What am I going to do with my kids, he says. After... Uh, NPR first, notif or first reported on the problem last November. Lawmakers wrote to the VA secretary who quickly put a pause. Yes. So it sounds a little bit funny, but, but listen to what that says. So after NPR first reported on the problem last November, lawmakers wrote to the VA secretary who quickly put a pause on the foreclosure of VA loans. He didn't do it himself. The secretary of the VA did not reach out to the, the lenders and say, hey, look, this is all screwed up. We need to fix it. Let's put a pause on these. The, law, the lawmakers wrote to the VA secretary who then acted. There was no law put in place that they needed to have done. There was no, there was no uh, you know, thing that needed to get signed from a, from a lawmaker uh, in order to do this. The VA secretary obviously had the power and didn't do it because wasn't thinking about these 40,000 vets. How nice. So the delay was planned to last six months. So that's that five to six month period to fix it. After which VA said it would have a solution that would uh, allow veterans to resume an affordable mortgage payment. Again, what are they saying here? Not the same payment. They should. They should say the same payment, but they're not. They're saying an affordable payment. Don't know what that means yet, but we'll, we'll find out, I guess. In the meantime, many veterans say their loan servicers are still pushing them to, to either pay all the missed payments immediately or accept costly loan modifications. If you are in that boat, write your congressional member, call your congressional member's office, email your congressional member's office, and let them know that that's happening so they can put additional pressure on the VA. All right. Garcia is a first-generation American. His parents are from Honduras. He was the first in his family to go to college, and he said joining the military was supposed to be a part of that American dream story. The VA home loan is part of the GI Bill, and since the end of World War II, it has been giving veterans a leg up into the middle class. Garcia served four years, including combat with the Army's 101st Airborne Division in Iraq. Awesome. Until a bullet in the ankle, not awesome, ended his military career. Oh, God, that sucks. Uh, it wasn't life-threatening, but, it, uh, but it's been a complicated injury. Uh, he's had 10 ankle surgeries in the, in the years since. My goodness. And there are still screws and plates in his foot. Uh, it reminds me of a story uh, on the other channel, which is Veterans Daily with uh, Clay and myself, Jay, Jason. Um, 
Clay was talking about a, a buddy of his that he knows that uh, had had a, a round come through and basically, you know, they ricochet and move wherever. So he like hit the, I can't remember off the top of my head, like the ankle, the knee, the hip, right? And uh, just years and years and years and years of physical therapy and surgeries to, to get going. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Garcia and his wife and their four daughters live in uh south of houston in a house they bought with a va loan just two weeks ago he was in a he was in his car on the phone with his mortgage company waiting to pick up his 16 year old daughter from school when the company demanded full payment i deal with ptsd i deal with anxiety and you know my heart is beating through my chest when i was having this conversation he says my daughter is in the car I have a panic attack right there in front of her after I hang up the phone and she's asking, Dad, are you okay? God, that sucks, man. This is irritating. All all for what? Because the VA, look, I get that a provision ends, right? That's That I get, right? So fix it, cool, but, but put a Band-Aid on there so these people don't have to go through this. Garcia says uh, it feels like a bait and switch because he and other vets were told before he took part of this foreclosure or forbearance uh, program that their payments wouldn't go up. If he can't pay back all the missed payments, he was offered a loan modification, which, which sucks, a loan modification that would result in a much better uh, bigger monthly bill. Garcia's old mortgage rate was 2.4%. The offer would increase that to a 7.1% with payments that are $700 higher. And, you know, once you do that, that's going to be hard to undo uh, because now you're in a whole new situation and now the VA can't un unscrew up uh, what they did for you. So, uh, and, and this is the story for many folks, right? You, before the pandemic, you had a great rate. Through the pandemic, you had a great rate. Uh, now a modification, rates suck. So moving on. So uh, this is my dilemma. Garcia says he told the mortgage uh, representative on the phone, you guys have put a financial gun to my head saying sign this or else. And, you know, it's, it's really the VA, sadly. The ones that are supposed to protect us, right? Uh, allowed this to happen. So Garcia's lender, a company called Mr. Cooper, which I hear this a lot, the company Mr. Cooper, and I never heard of him before, uh, said in a statement to NPR that it is bound by the programs offered by VA. In other words, it's the VA. They're the ones that did this. And that there is currently an industry need for enhancements to VA loss mitigation solutions. Absolutely. Uh, just how the VA plans to improve the options for veterans stuck in this predicament was the focus of the congressional hearing this week. We need answers today, said uh, Representative Levin of California Democrat and ranking or a California Democrat and ranking member of the House VA subcommittee. Bell, the head of the VA loan program, said those 40,000 veterans would get help from a new loan modification plan called the VA Servicing Purchase Program or VASP. VASP will provide veterans with an affordable scheduled monthly mortgage payment that reduces debt over time at a rate much lower than the current market interest rate, Bell said. So again, higher than what you used to be, but lower than what today is. That sucks. Uh, Levin wanted to, wanted to know through... Uh, Aside from the thousands of vets, oh, Levin wanted to know though, sorry about that. Aside from the thousand of vets on the verge of foreclosure and still delinquent on their loans, what about those who have already ended up in much more costly mortgages as a result of VA's actions? Good question. So you've already loan modified out. Maybe you even actually sold your home. How about that? That's horrible. So, what if the veterans already signed up for a higher interest loan modification, uh, Levin said. What are you going to do to make these veterans whole? Bell said they possibly could be eligible through it, uh, or though it was unclear whether the VA had decided if veterans would first have to default on their current mortgage cheese. Uh, uh, Representative Derek Van Orden of Wisconsin Republican grew frustrated with Bell's answers. Yes, 
Should be. Mr. Bell, you didn't answer that question, you, and you're really starting to irritate me, Van Orden said. He also expressed concerns over the possible costs and unintended consequences of the VA's new VASP program. Also, at the hearing, industry and consumer groups urged the VA to reinstate the part of the loan forbearance, forbearance program that it uh, scuttled in October of 2022, which had enabled lenders to move missed payments to the end of the loan term. It seems smart. Uh, all of the other federal rated Federally related mortgage programs offer this option, said Edward DeMarco, president of the Housing Policy Council. And so here we are, right? All this to say they're working on something that's not as good as what you had. You'll still probably pay more than what you were. And oh, by the way, there's no real answer to opening up the ability to add the missed payments back to the end of your loan and move on with your current loan situation. Yay. With that, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.